How do you think it works? I have no idea. Look, Lois told me I had to start using the toilet, and you're the one who's had potty training, so I'm counting on you to help me. All right. We're two intelligent guys. We can figure this out. What's that big back part? Maybe that's where the wizard lives who operates this thing. It would be wise not to anger him. I wonder what this thing is for. Brian, be careful with that. We don't know what it does. <sighs> All right, here goes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Careful, 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 careful. <laughs> And I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be $60. Hey, Brian, uh, another categories question. The category is type of pet. Herbert put Cambodian. That's not right, right? Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... It, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk. It's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any... Any marks, piercings? He and... may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? You have a different view, Brian? Oh, I, I don't know. Are we, are we allowed to have a different view? Brian, AA is the only way out for these people. Millions are saved every year by the program. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> oh, oh, well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part. Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader. So, James, we just want you to do the voice. Here's your Star Wars kids meal. Which action figures did we get? I got Kylo Ren. I got the role during the two months I was a hot actor, and now they're stuck with me. I got Forrest Whitaker. Even as a toy, you can't tell where he's looking. I wish I had the poorly cast Kylo Ren. Here, Stewie. You can have mine. You're giving me the better one? Why would you do that? Because you're my friend. Yes. You're my friend. You're my best friend. Let's choke on these. Together. <laughs> that was fun. Let's switch. Hey, Lois. So, how was your first day of voiceover? Eh, it was nothing. Turns out I'm just doing very obscure European commercials. Uh, you know, I have got to get myself back out there, too. I haven't performed since I was in Stew Man Group. I don't get it! What is this? We don't know either. All right, Dad, you're on. Hey, PTV fans, welcome to Douchebags. We're out here on the I-95 overpass doing our first segment, I Dare You to Crap Off of That. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. 
I dared him. All right, here we go. I say, are those two pigs vomiting up there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, Lois, before you start yelling, let me remind you that you were the one who recklessly drove into oncoming crap. It was inexcusable, Peter, and Stewie may never be able to ride in the car again. Turn off the windshield wipers. They don't work. They're just making it worse. Stewie promised he'd make healthy meals for us, but all he ever makes is frozen pizza. You said you loved pizza, especially when I make the ones with the crust made of wheat. He also does that. Oh, boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh, fine, fine. And I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. I said I'm going to numb. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just going to drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, bye, juice! That was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, methamphetamine is flooding into Quahog in epidemic amounts and is believed to be originating from the nearby rural community of Farmton. Farmton, that's the name of the place we live. I forgot to mention that earlier. For more on the story, we now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Oh, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Guys, I have an announcement. I'm gonna run for mayor. That's a terrible idea. You idiot, Brian. Meg, fat on Brian. I can't. I don't have one in the chamber. And one time I give you a chance, you're not ready. Chris, tag in for Meg. <laughs> See that kid? He's a gamer. Great job, Chris. Now go hit the showers. Meg, you miss 100% of the farts you don't take. That kid's going places. He's going all the way. If only they knew. Yeah, it's my boy. Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Ganatra. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about, you know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Unless... All right, what this is has no name, so you can't have it. <laughs> we got him. Halloween.